Hello guys, today I have 10 very usable equestrian hacks for you all, so let's jump into it. So on to hack number one, and I'm very excited to say you guys, this is actually being sponsored today by Clyde's Leather Company. So they have sent me one of their recoloring balms, and apparently this product is like a hack for your older, kind of not so fresh looking leather products. We're gonna really challenge them. I'm gonna be using it on my old jumping saddle, which some of you guys have seen this saddle. It is very patchy, um, quite discolored. It's it's a bit of a hot mess to be honest. I love the saddle, it's great to ride in. But yeah, it's, it's seen better days, that's for sure. So step number one, you're gonna clean the leather item that you're gonna be recoloring. Obviously I'm doing my saddle today. And also you guys, before I forget, they have also given me a discount code for you guys to use if you decide you want to purchase any of these products. Obviously use the code and save your coin. Step number two, you are going to apply a small amount and I really must emphasize use a small amount because a little bit went a very long way and you're going to apply it in circular motions. So step number three, you're just going to let the saddle sit for an hour and then come back to it and just see if there's any patchiness or if you want the color to look a little bit darker. Now is your chance to apply a little bit more of the balm to it. Once you're happy with how it's looking, then you're going to leave it for 24 to 36 hours just to cure. So this is now 24 hours later and as you can see, my saddle is looking so much better, so much less patchy. I barely made a dent in the pot of product that I was given and I did a whole side of my saddle. So I feel like the tiny little pot will last you for like a very long time. So you're gonna have a lot of reapplications in that one little pot. So definitely recommend this product to anyone who maybe has an older saddle or if you've just bought a secondhand saddle that's needing a little bit of a refresh, a little bit of TLC, highly recommend. And thank you to Clyde's Leather very much. This hack is so quick and simple, but it will literally save you so much time and effort down the track. And that is using shoe spray, so shoe stain repellent spray, on your white exercise boots. So whichever stain repellent spray you decide to use, just make sure that whichever one you pick is appropriate for the type of material your work boots are made out of. Grab your boots, pop them down on the surface, preferably outside because you don't want to be spraying these fumes indoors. I know too, I would only recommend using this on the outside of your boots, mostly on the plastic parts, not on the inside where it's going to be rubbing against your horse's skin. You're going to let your boots dry and they are ready to go and I swear the dirt comes off so much more easily if you just put a little bit of this spray on, it really makes a difference. This hack is for those who have a horse who is maybe learning how to pick up its feet or the ones that just want to be really stubborn about it. So most people I see trying to lift up a horse's foot will often be pulling at either the fetlock or pulling at the horse's feathers. But what you should be doing instead is applying pressure to the back of their knee. If they're being especially stubborn, what you can do is also lean into their shoulder at the same time that you're putting pressure behind their knee. And I promise you, it literally makes things so much easier. It's literally the equivalent of like when you walk up to someone and you tap the back of their knee and then their leg falls out from under them. It's like the same principle as that pretty much. So I've been using this hack forever now and it is such a grooming lifesaver when you're rushing around or you don't have much time on your hands. You guys know what it's like. Sometimes our equine friends are just <laughs> very good at getting dirty and dusty. So today's hack is gonna help you out with that. All you need is a clean towel. You're gonna add some water to that. So it is now a damp towel and you're literally just gonna wipe it over any of the dusty patches on your horse's coat. It will pick up so much of the dust without leaving the coat super saturated and wet. And if they're particularly dirty, I would just suggest go back in with a body brush. It just brings any of the in-ground dirt back to the surface, run the towel over them one more time, and it will get any of the last little bits. And it's literally such a lifesaver. So you know when you just wanna take like a nice photo of your horse, which is like every equestrian ever, and they just refuse to put their ears forward. It is so frustrating. They're standing there doing the very most, jumping around, clicking your fingers, whatever it is, and they're just acting totally disinterested. Well, I have a hack for you. It is like my secret weapon to get their ears forward every single time. All you need is a phone. You're gonna go to Google or whatever, search horse nays or farm animal sounds also seem to work quite well as well. And you're gonna play that for your horse. And I promise you, their ears will pop forward like straight away once you start playing these sounds. It works so well. But I will put a beware or a please note on this particular hack. Some horses get very hyped when they start hearing the horse neighs. So if you're a little bit of a nervous rider or you're not sure how your horse is gonna react, maybe just test this one out on the ground the first time, just in case. 
Now I know my Northern Hemisphere peeps are about to move into that time we all know called shedding season and you're out there you're brushing your horse and it's like every five seconds your brush is just so full of hair it's like it just stops working or alternatively here in the southern hemisphere our horses tend to be very dusty and dirty at the moment and you get to that point where your brush is so saturated in dust that it's like it's just pushing the dust around on their coat it's not actually getting rid of it all well this hack is for those problems all you need is a gate or mesh fencing and you're going to grab your dirty brush and you're going to run it along said gate or said fence four to five times and I promise you your brush will be instantly declogged and clean. And no joke, I'm going to go as far as to say that this literally works better than any brush cleaner that I've ever owned. It is such a good hack if I do so say myself. Now someone in the comments is going to have to help me out because I saw this hack Somewhere on TikTok or Instagram, I can't remember and I can't find the original account anymore, but it is such a good hack, I have to share it with you guys. So if someone knows who created this, please let me know because we will definitely shout them out in the comments. I feel like we've all been there. We're taking hay out to the horses and next minute you feel that really familiar, super irritating itch in your shoes and you realize that you've got a boot full of hay. I actually get so irritated by it that I can't continue on with my like horse chores until my boots are completely cleaned out of all hay. So to fix this, what you're going to do is go and grab a pair of your bell boots, preferably ones that have straps because it's going to make this a lot easier. You're going to secure them firmly around the top of your boots and you are good to go. And I can't explain, this literally just works so well. You will not get any hay in your boots. I am all about the quick and easy route when it comes to cleaning my gear and kind of like Tic Tac, this particular one is a two-in-one deal. Today I'm going to be using my grooming brushes to clean my exercise boots and vice versa and this works so well surprisingly. So go and grab your dirty work boots and your dirty grooming brushes. Grab a plastic tub, I like to use horse shampoo, mine does have a hole in it lol, and sometimes a bit of medicated wash is good too for the more sensitive horses. A little bit of shampoo into the container and fill with water. Throw in all your dirty brushes and boots. Mix it around and leave to soak for like 5 to 10, 15 minutes, somewhere around there. But try and be a little bit more chill than me because there's just bubbles going everywhere. So really the powerhouse of this hack is the body brush. You're going to use this to clean your boots and give them a good scrub all over inside and out. Then you're going to do the exact same thing for the brushes. You're going to use the body brush, your dandy brush to clean off other brushes. And you can already see how foul the water is looking. So it is now time to rinse. As I rinse, I throw them into a clean bucket. And then I would recommend drying them on a flat surface somewhere in the sun and just make sure that the brushes are facing down so that the water doesn't settle into the bristle holes and go moldy. The brushes are already looking brand new. So I'm going to go and hang up these boots, let them dry, and here is the before and after. And as you can see, looking much, much cleaner and I promise you this was very minimal effort to get to this point. I mean, honestly, this one is just like a life hack in general and that is just power hose everything. If you guys are like me and you insist on buying white exercise boots and then you have the burden of constantly trying to keep them clean, then this is definitely for you. All you need is a power hose and I'm not joking, these literally work better than most washing machines. It's such a weird thing to me. If you don't own one, check with your dad because I feel like every other dad has one. Maybe your uncle has one, some male in your life. I swear they've all got one in the back of their garage, so go suss it out. So if you have like concrete or bitumen, that's the best spot to lay your boots down on. If you've only got grass like me, just pop like a towel or something down. Otherwise, you're going to end up ripping up half your lawn while you're doing this, which I did learn the hard way. So lay the boots down and start spraying. Do both sides. I find if there's any particularly stuck on stains, just go over them a couple of times and they definitely start to come up. Also, a side note, the one thing you shouldn't... Well, not the one thing. There's multiple things you shouldn't power hose. But something you probably think you can power hose but can't is actually waterproof rugs. So don't power hose them because it can actually affect the waterproofness of them. Interesting fact. I only learned that quite recently. So the boots have now been sprayed. I'm going to let them dry. And literally, look how clean these come up. Just a reminder, like, this is not using soap. It's just water. And they've come up so clean and so white looking. And I've also now started using this on the underside of my saddle pads as well before I put them in the washing machine. And I have to say, it makes such a difference. It just loosens up all of the hair that gets stuck to them. And then by the time they've gone through the washing machine, there's no hair left at all. And I find that they're coming up so much nicer. I 
I get asked a lot how I keep my horse's tails looking so thick and quite healthy. So my horses are, I will say, genetically blessed with nice tails. You have seen Peach, she has a lovely thick tail. Her child, Tic Tac, also is like the hairiest little thing ever. So they're already starting off from like a good base position. I don't have to do too much to keep them looking really, really nice. But I do have one tip that I really live by to help improve a thin tail, and that is to stop brushing your horse's tail. So instead of reaching for your comb, use your hands. Pick out any sticks or debris, and while you're doing this, you can also gently use your hands to brush through any knots that might be in their tail. And I probably, if I'm being honest, I only actually brush brush Peach's tail probably about every two to three weeks, sometimes more. And if I do, I always use plenty of spray and conditioner. If there's a hack that I didn't mention in today's video that you find very, very helpful and maybe use on a regular basis, then leave it in the comment section below because I love reading them and you might help some fellow equestrians out. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out and I have a ton of videos planned for you guys. I am working on a few at the moment that I think you guys are really going to love. So yeah, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs> Paper. Crumpets over here crunching papers while I'm trying to film. You leave the paper alone. You don't need to read the news. Please do leave it in the comment section. <laughs> Crumpets! <laughs>